voted. What is your impression in today's election? Well, a remarkable improvement on what happened last week. And what happened last week can be blamed on, on the inability of our people to understand the technology. But now it is clear that people have taken time to study the process. Uh, on arrival, you present your PVC. Once you are verified, you are allowed to vote. And once you vote, you will uh, leave the scene. I think I've seen a seamless process here. And uh, INEC has done some good job, wonderful work. And the technology is good. And uh, I therefore recommend that our people should continue to study the process so that with time we will perfect on all electoral, the new technological system of voting. Well, at least there is voting. People are coming out to vote. And uh, we will continue to create awareness. We continue to educate our people. We continue to let them know that the power to contribute towards governance is, is by going, coming out to vote. So if you don't come out to vote, then you don't have any right to blame any government. But if you come out to vote, it means you are a stakeholder, you have voted. And uh, in the process, government owes you it a duty to explain to you where they have not done things well and also explain to you where they have done things well. I want to use this opportunity, therefore, to encourage all our people to participate in the process of electing our leaders so that together we can build the country. And your son, how confident are you that your political party will emerge victorious at the end of the day? How confident well, are you? Well, I'm not dying to uh, announce the results, <laughs> but what I know is that uh, given what we have done in this state and given what the party has also demonstrated in terms of governance, I'm confident that reciprocity as the name of the business, that the electorate will vote for our party. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.